So I've been scrolling through TikTok a lot, as one does in a global pandemic. I've seen lots of creative content, but when the TikTok gods handed me a video of someone jumping on their counter, making an iced coffee, and ranting about who knows what, I knew I found my happy place. If you aren't familiar with Canon, he's a super genuine creator who posts three to five times a day, sharing fun audios, chocolate and vanilla, maybe a butterscotch, getting his nails done, and most importantly, coffee rants. June 15th, and if you don't know what that means, that means it's the day that LA County lifts all of its little mask mandate restrictions. And it's like, yay, oh my gosh, we got these little cards. No, I'm a little scared because now people are gonna know how busted and crusted I really look. These coffee rants are what I wanna focus on though. Many creators on TikTok end up getting a large following from one or two videos performing really, really well. When I scrolled through Kanan's content to see if this was the case for him, I noticed something interesting. Practically all of his coffee rants got over a million views, while his other videos got maybe a couple thousand. Me being the curious person I am decided to go digging to uncover the dirty secrets of this newly iconic counter jump. Yeah, I, I really didn't sign up for it. I didn't even ask to be here, really. The very first thing we need to figure out is what makes a TikTok go viral. So after several iced coffees and a little bit of research, I found out there are four main factors that contribute to a video doing well. The most important being watch time, then shares, then comments, and finally likes. So considering watch time is so crucial for success, it makes sense why these videos performed so well. The average attention span of a human is eight seconds, but no one scrolls through TikTok watching eight whole seconds of every video. So you gotta grab people's attention at the start. When Canon jumps on his counter within the first two seconds, you are intrigued. After researching what keeps human attention, the very first thing is the element of surprise. Since it isn't every or really any other creator jumping on their counter, you are most definitely surprised. After jumping on his counter, Canon tends to ask a question. Does anyone know someone that chooses to use military time? And let me rephrase that question. And guess what? But don't actually guess though, because I'm going to tell you. Questions are the next best thing for keeping human attention after a surprise. So now you are continuing watching his video so you can find the answer to his question. But that's not it. There is a third element that keeps human attention, and it is curiosity. And what is he doing? What is that mysterious sauce? Wait, what is he saying? His videos pose much curiosity, from wondering how his drink is made to how his story will end. You were immediately intrigued by him jumping on his counter. You were then considering the question he posed, and then curious as to how his story will end and how he will make this drink. Now that we understand his watch time, we need to investigate shares. So what encourages you to share a video? Is it the creator asking you to? Cause you should definitely share this video. It's not every day that someone investigates counter jumps. But anyways, why do people share content? Well, through countless minutes of research, I have discovered that you need to surprise but not shock, and the content needs to give the viewer value. Like we uncovered earlier, Canon surprises the viewer by jumping on his counter. He is also adding more surprise to newer content, but we'll get to that later. Videos that give surprise are often shared because the person sharing the video wants to see the reaction from friends and family. So what does it mean to give the viewer value? Consider this. When you send content to family or friends, you want to send it to add value to yourself. The best example of this is sending a video you find funny to a friend to show the friend that this is your sense of humor. You are often doing this subconsciously. Canon makes content that is relatable to the average Joe. In a lot of his coffee rants, he will talk about his experience working a minimum wage job, for example. You can cry and watch Netflix by yourself on that one. Okay. So people with these types of jobs are likely to share the video with friends, family, and coworkers because they want to send the message that they relate to this. There is so much more that goes into the psychology of sharing content, but that will be something to investigate in future videos. On top of having good watch time and lots of shares, Canon also gets lots of comments on his videos. So why do people comment on social media? The simplest answer is we want to connect with the creator. Either you want them to see your comments so they feel bad about themselves and everything they do, or actually you're a nice human being. 
Think about it. When you comment on someone's post, what is your hope? Likely you're wanting the creator to see it. It makes sense why people leave comments on Canon's videos for three main reasons. First being that Canon is stating an opinion on a specific subject, which coerces his viewers into sharing if they agree or if they disagree. You know, it, it doesn't need to be here at the moment. Since his content is lighthearted, it makes his audience comfortable with sharing their side. Second, his videos pose questions, like what ingredients are you using? How did you jump on the counter? Did your hand tattoo hurt? Is that tattoo related in any way to coffee? Was coffee used in place of ink when making said tattoo? All very valid questions that deserve an answer. People will comment all of these questions in hopes that Canon will answer, which he should, especially those very specific ones. Third, and most importantly, Canon responds to many comments. If you scroll through the comment section of any of his videos, you will see that he takes the time to answer questions and respond to comments. Knowing that Canon responds to many comments, viewers are even more encouraged to comment since the whole goal is to connect with the creator. The final element that impacts TikTok performance is likes. Since likes don't have as much impact as watch time, shares, and comments, I don't want to spend as much time on it. However, we can imagine that if his videos performed well with comments and shares, it would likely perform well with likes too. Now that we have talked about everything that goes into a TikTok going viral, you would think that we have our answer. But there is one more thing that has made his videos do so well. Duet. And no, we are not referring to great musical duets like You're the One That I Want from Grease. We are actually talking about a feature on the app. If you aren't familiar with TikTok, there are two features, one called Duet and one called Stitch. Duet allows the user to create a video beside a posted video. So it's like making a video response to someone's video in real time. Switch allows the user to create a video having someone else's video play first. So you'd have a little bit of another creator's video playing and then your video would play. When Canon started jumping on his counter, he actually started a trend. Followers started attempting jumping on their own counter. They would use the stitch feature to show Canon jumping on his counter and then show their own attempt. Not only were these videos funny to watch for us, but Canon found them funny too. He started duetting them to show his reaction to people's attempts. This encouraged even more people to attempt the counter jump in hopes they would be featured on his feed. Having all these individuals post videos jumping on their counter brought more eyes to Canon's account since the attempts had his videos linked. This brought Canon both views and a more engaged audience, but an engaged audience is a whole other video in itself. Now, I am sure you are thinking, okay, Lindsay, this is all great, but what happens when his followers see him jumping on his counter every day? It will lose the surprise element and potentially weaken video performance. Here's the thing. Canon is smart and has been adding new elements to his content over time. He has been doing collaborations with creators like Maddie Westbrook, Nicholas Ray, and Scott Kretz. He also takes on challenges that people leave in the comments, like making iced coffee without the coffee. Yes, you heard me right, without the coffee. Yum. So there you have it. Creating content that keeps human attention, is relatable to the majority, encourages viewers to connect with the creator, is trendy, and is ever developing is exactly how Canon has made jumping on the counter a success with millions of views.